Hi everyone. So in this video, I wanted to make a review of a new service called Brancher.ai. And Brancher.ai would be if I would say the closest things that I could equate it to would be Zapier. So I'd equate it to Zapier for sure. But then also if um, you're familiar, there was a, a service when uh, subscription box services were big and a fad. Uh, there was a website called CrateJoy. Uh, and so I would say that Brancher.ai is kind of the equivalent of a blend of CrateJoy and Zapier. And so what Brancher.ai allows you to do is it operates off of a system of credits. And then with credits, uh, you can utilize credits to either build your own app or to uh, utilize apps that are already built to do functionality. And then so in, in that instance, I think it's like Zapier because it allows you to do like small tasks via AI. Um, so if we look at the template library that they have built out, if we look at some of the tasks, like general knowledge tasks, like a Gen Z dictionary, how do I clean something? So we can see that these are kind of, like, again, like really small uh, things that you could do, like a product pitch generator, uh, AI lead analyzer, uh, and then we could click and see more, like a tweet helper, YouTube ad script uh, bot, blog post draft bot, and there's more and more being added to these all the time, elevator pitch generator, D&D uh, &D character backstory generator, uh, and um, one important thing to note is that, uh, so again, it's a, a credit model. So most of these will be one credit. And then you can see if you submit, it'll be one credit. Uh, and this is what income do I need if I'm married or single. And then if I have children, real simple, just two, two forms really. Uh, and then if I hit submit, it would take one of my credits and then it would generate a response. And not everything is one credit. So like this, D and D character backstory generator, for example, would be four credits, uh, and then so name, age, race, and personality, I put those uh, in as my variables, uh, and then it's gonna instantly give me a backstory, uh, and it's a unique backstory for my characters. So, and then I think that this might bring you to the question of like, uh, how does uh, this work, and like, how exactly do you create your apps, and how exactly, like what exactly are they running from? So uh, if we click here to create our, our app, <clears throat> we can see the really basic uh, setup here. And I, the thing I like about this uh, Brancher.ai is it makes it really easy to do this. So uh, you have your app basics, background, text, you can change the different colors of the different options, really simple, just click directly into it, give your app a title and a description. And then uh, here you can do forms. Uh, and then so forms, uh, you can do different and, and varying forms. So the ones that we saw like were text inputs. And then here, this would be your, your uh, label for like, uh, so if we wanted to do like the D&D character creation, it could be, you know, your race. Uh, and then for the placeholder text, it'd be like enter character race. Exactly like how, how the D&D uh, one was built out. Uh, and then we can also uh, here change the formats as well. So we could change it from a text base uh, to drop down. Uh, or also uh, multiple choice. And then we can also add the different questions, different flows, really simple, really easy WYSIWYG editor, uh, how it works to me. Uh, and then flow and logic. And I think this, this is like the cool part of the platform and then why I'm reviewing this platform and why I think that this platform has a lot of potential uh, is this just flat out. So you can connect like how these apps work uh, is you can connect them to uh, different AI services. So uh, ChatGPT, uh, Dolly, uh, Midjourney, like like uh, so the, either large language models, image models, or upscaling models, depending on on exactly what you want to do. Uh, and then right now they have the, only the two options, uh, language models or image models. But what you can do is essentially just connect to these uh, these services, and then from these services, it's a matter of uh, then building out your own individual forms uh, and then what you want them to do. Uh, and then the cool thing is, is that you can publish and share. Uh, and then so you can create uh, your own apps on this platform. Uh, and then also too, if you create your own app, uh, you create your own app for something uh, and then you want to share it with the world overall, then you also have that full capability 
uh, as well to go ahead and do that. Uh, and so you could essentially, that's where I think that the Create Joy aspect of this comes in, uh, is that you can utilize a service like Create Joy to build out your own app, put it here on the Brancher.ai app store, essentially, uh, and then uh, go from there. As far as their subscription model, I think they're still trying to work out essentially I think their their pricing model but so up front if you sign up for the service it's free uh, you get 100 credits you can do it exactly what you want allows you to to build apps out uh, and everything along, along those lines if you do want to start building out apps then you probably do want to go with this plan which is I think why they, they uh, price it out this way uh, because it's you have the branding uh, and then so you can move branding add add your own custom logo essentially make it your own app uh, and then for the pro plan uh, they actually have specifically like Zapier integrations and more integrations uh, and so I think like they, they built this out up front uh, and with the, the understanding and the knowing that like this is going to build out into Zapier for AI and that's exactly how I, I, I envision this app. Uh, I think this is one of the most trending like as far as the uh, AI tools and sites that I've seen over the last like month or so since uh, hype around AI has significantly started to increase. This is the one that has been staying on my agenda, so it's uh, and and my radar, uh, and then so it's one I just wanted to highlight and uh, yeah showcase because I think that as this platform gets more and more built out, it's going to be more and more things, uh, and then so. First to market doesn't always mean a success in market, but uh, I think that they're so far from everything that I'm seeing doing a good job. And so uh, just uh, I'm not paid in any way. This isn't any sort of paid video whatsoever. Just giving my general overview of this service brancher uh, and my opinions of it. I think if you're interested in creating like small scale tools, you're looking for a Zapier type service and or you want to actually like uh, build those out and sell your own like Zapier type services. I think that this is a great option uh, now and looking forward to seeing what they build out in the future. All right, awesome, thanks guys. And if you like these videos, like and subscribe, especially if you're looking for uh, more content around uh, anything related to AI and then more specifically AI ethics. Uh, and then also feel free to check out my website, touringsolutions.com. Thank you very much.